is that economic uh, models are not more, but also not less, than stories, fables. What is a good fable? A good fable is uh, the author of a fable uh, uh, looks at the world, uh, he has a good insight about something, he is uh, pulling from the world uh, some details, he, create, he creates some environment. The environment is artificial, it's a fantasy, it's not real. It can be attacked uh, on being uh, unrealistic, that he misses a lot of points from the world. But nevertheless, he creates this fantasy. There is something going on in this fantasy, in this fable. And at the end of the reading of the fable or the story, we come back to the real life uh, with the feeling that we have some insight. That's all. We don't feel that reading a book or a fable we are able to predict uh, some behavior of some other people or what will happen in some, in some uh, political con uh, cont contest or some war or whatever. We just feel that we got probably in the best, uh, in the best fables give us some insight about the, way, the, the world or about the way that we think about the world. If you enter into my home page, you will be able to free downloading uh, all my books uh, that I published along the years and all my articles, academics and non-articles. This is not by coincidence, that's a policy which is very important for me. I believe that we are in academics, we are funded very well by the universities and we, part of our return is to provide to the world free of charge to whoever is able to, is interested in the, in the material, rich or poor. And therefore I think that I'm, uh, I'm very glad that uh, this book is published with, uh, with a publisher who took it as a, a mission uh, to publish the books in, uh, in a way that uh, the books are immediately put on the web for uh, free reading. Uh, book publishers took it as a mission to publish books in a way that the books will be uh, accessible uh, free of charge to whoever is, uh, is interested in the books immediately as soon as the book is published. Ideas, uh, even regarding rigorous ideas, uh, regarding economic thought, are not completely uh, separated from uh, personal life. Uh, so the, 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 the structure of the book uh, was planned to be such that uh, I would try to alternate as much as possible between uh, sections and paragraphs that were about myself and sections uh, which are about economic theory, academic part of the book, parts of the book uh, were meant for one side to be read by people who are not experts of, the, of, of economics and are not mathematicians. But on the other side, I try to be very precise. Therefore, I don't think that there was any case in my book where I compromised on providing a precise definition and a precise argument.